Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria. I thought it'd be fun to do a roundup of my favorite items that I have from Aritzia as a former Aritzia employee. Most of these items I bought with my discount. Aritzia gives you a 40% off discount, which is lit. I would definitely buy these items again full price just because I've worn them so much and I really, really do love them. Let's dive right in. I'll also include like my size in the description box and the item number which makes it easier to search up so first up from sunday best is this black t-shirt i also have the shirt in white but it's dirty right now so i cannot show you i believe it's only 20 dollars, which i think is a good price normally the only shirts that i have are like crop tops and so this is a nice change for me just to have like a full length shirt next up are the sculpt knits honestly they're quite expensive but i've worn them so much like i have it in white and she's worn the issue with these shirts is that they start to pill they're not as a bright white color anymore which I guess that kind of happens with white shirts anyways, but you can really tell. I've worn this one the most and it really, it does stretch a lot because I got this in a double extra small and it fits like a glove. But my black one I don't wear as much, but she's pretty small. See, this is my white one versus my black one. So it does stretch, but I also got a one shoulder top and this one is in a size extra small just because Trevor's side doesn't have the strap it squeezes your fat, which I don't like, was not a fan of that, so I sized up. And I honestly don't wear this a bunch, so I haven't seen it stretch, but I'm sure it does. Like, there'd probably be no difference because it's the same material. Next, I have this contour bodysuit, and I'm pretty sure you've seen these everywhere. They're pretty viral. Everyone loves them. They're such good tops. The only thing is I got an extra small, but I think my torso is longer than normal. I don't know, but I tried this on in the fitting room and it fit perfectly, but once I wear it out for longer than a few hours, it really starts to pull on my JJ and it is not very comfortable. So I would really suggest going into the store and trying it on because you can't return bodysuits, I think, or something. They have a rule about it because they're like, ew. So I would say go in store, try it on, and probably size up, literally. The whole contour line is my favorite, which is why I got the long sleeve shirt. Also, these things are all kind of wrinkled. They've been sitting in a bag because I meant to do this video a while ago and then I got lazy, so. The only thing is I freaking get makeup on it so easily, but also it's probably my fault. Definitely would buy this in other colors and this one I got in a size small. So this one I had to size up. The weird thing about Aritzia sizing is that you can fluctuate like between so many sizes. Like with pants, I can go between like a double zero and then a four. So you really gotta go and try everything on, but it literally is so inconsistent. This is the only skirt I have. I really, really love this skirt. It has built-in shorts. I've like used and abused this but I don't know if it's me or if it was the skirt but it literally ripped like right here it's not very obvious on you can't tell but I literally saw it one day because I was pulling it up and I was like it's like a basic white skirt it is quite short I think I have short legs so just like shorter skirts look better on me and they elongate my legs so be aware of that the only thing I will say about the skirt is that when I'm walking sometimes this will go up and you'll see like the shorts versions so maybe size up but it fits around my waist perfectly I had a whole dedicated video to this where I styled it and it is the Divinity Romper. I'm obsessed. I got her in an extra small. This is the seven inch inseam and I really love her. And like, it's just like perfect for like running errands and very easy to style. I think my next purchase is gonna be Divinity jumpsuit. Now moving on to loungewear pants. This, I've been wearing a lot recently and it's just their flare yoga pants and I got this in an extra small but I would say to size up because low-key this gives me a front wedgie if I pull it up too high and I normally like to have my pants pretty high-waisted so that's definitely my issue if you're like me and you like your pants high-waisted definitely size up it fits so beautifully it's perfect length it doesn't drag on the floor and I love that next are the sweatpants at Aritzia just like their straight legged sweatpants and I've probably talked about these a lot at first my sister wore them and I thought they were the ugliest things ever but now I own a bunch of straight leg sweatpants and I will never be going back to the cuffed ones just because they look so ugly straight legged sweatpants so flattering in 
the gray sweatpants, I got an extra small. And then in the black ones, I got a double extra small. But I honestly wish I got an extra small. But they were sold out and I really wanted these. And I had my eyes on them because I got the short version. And this was the only one they had left. So sometimes it also gives me a wedgie. But that's because I pull it up too high. Ooh, and last. Okay, these are so... I don't know if these are underrated, but they're the free lounge pants. I won't lie, they don't do anything for the front area. They're just like lounge pants. They're so comfortable and they're perfect for like spring or summer because they're super light, like very thin, if you can tell, but not see-through. Okay, you know what? Take this how you will. The fact that you can see my fingers like this. I never really noticed that. I also wear this all the time. So I'm wondering now if people have ever seen my underwear. I got this in an extra small and these drag on the floor like crazy. Like, is this disgusting? But like, look at this color. It's it's like blue and so they do have a short version of this so i would definitely recommend that for the shorter girls because that was my mistake going to pants i talk about these pants religiously when i worked at aritzia i put so many girls on these pants because everyone was just looking for a straight pair of jeans but these are also a little bit wide leg and these are the Farahs, the high rise these are the perfect length on me and they're a 28 length and it hits like my ankle a little bit longer, but I'm obsessed. I literally loved it so much. I bought a second pair, a darker wash. Honestly, so far, I don't think they have shrunk or stretched. Let me test. Okay, so they definitely do stretch. Um, I definitely wear the blue pair more than the black pair, so you can kind of see they do stretch a little bit. I got both of them in a size 26, and they're from Denim Forum. You just gotta try on the jeans and find the right size, but their lengths are always perfect on me, and they're never too long, never too short. And then next are the Effortless Pants from Aritzia. These ones I got in a size zero, and the weird thing about this is that I definitely could have gotten a double zero, but I wouldn't have been comfortable after I ate. So take that how you will. These are also super long. Long. I step on these pants all the time unless I'm wearing the right shoes But a life hack is if you get the short tall version, they should fit you perfectly But that's what I've heard. I've never bought them never tried it So they're just like so soft never scratchy feels so good on so if you guys know, I own a pair of Molinas, and if you're wondering why I didn't include that I honestly don't like them. I think they're probably overhyped and they fit so bad. I'll literally try them on for you, but I got mine in a size four and I heard they stretch a whole size to a half size, which is kind of a lot. So I'm not a fan. I also don't wear them that much, but there's like a huge gaping in the back of the pants. Like no matter what size I tried on, I tried a zero and it was so tight on my thighs and they were still gaping in the back of the pants. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm not a fan. I literally would not recommend those pants to anybody. Before I hop to jackets, I have to talk about the socks. I am a huge fan. Like religiously wear Aritzia socks. I put all my friends on them. I don't know what it is, but this is like crack in a sock and they look good, they feel good. What more do you want? And people would think I'm crazy for that, but I love their socks. It has to be the TNA socks. The other ones, I don't really care for. So, try that out. Okay, moving on to jackets. This is the Agency Blazer. It was my very first purchase from Aritzia. It's like this taupe green kind of color. On camera, it looks browner, but in person, it looks pretty green. This was my first ever purchase and first ever blazer and I regret nothing. I got it in a size small and I believe it's like $200. So she's kind of a splurge for me. I don't know how much normal clothes are. I don't know, I don't really buy that many clothes anymore so I'm not sure what to compare this to. But this is the Pelly jacket. This was my second purchase at Aritzia actually. And it's just a leather jacket. I got it in a size small, so it's a little bit oversized. I wear it all the time. It's just so easy to style and it's super cute. Leather is super in right now, so. Next, I have this cardigan. I got this in a double extra small because I wanted it to be fitted. I literally saw a girl wear this and I bought it instantly because it looked so cute on her. The only thing I will say is that it does pill a good amount like you can see here pilling but obviously you can just get a deep pillar but it's like the cutest little sweater cardigan. These jackets from TNA I have two. One of them is this waffle material and then the other one's just a basic. These two they're a good summer essential. I got them both in an 
extra small. I wear these all the time in the summer and the spring or like just like as a jacket for my gym outfit. So would really recommend. Last but not least, the Super Puff. I love the Super Puff. I think it's so cute. I also have two Super Puffs. I have a corduroy one and then this white one. They have like these thumb holes that you can put your hand through. Super comfortable, so soft. I was originally debating between the black and the white Super Puff for so long because I just wanted a neutral colored one. And I'm really glad I went with the white one. The only thing I will say is that it stains pretty easily so you have to be really careful. In this Super Puff, I got the size extra small and it fits like a glove. The only issue is that I can't wear like a hoodie underneath but, but it keeps me so warm that I don't even really need one so I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it comes in a bunch of lengths and colors, but the shorty looked best on me just because of my height. The original Super Puff looked kind of weird and made me look kind of short and just like ended at a weird place for me. So I always opt for either the mid, the long, or the shorty. The original was like out of question for me. That was kind of a lot, but those are all of my Aritzia favorites and what I would recommend. These are the pieces that I've kept in my closet for a while. I love them, I wear them all the time. Let me know if there's anything you wanna see from me. I will see you when I see you. Thanks so much for watching, bye.